When it comes to building websites, I have done it all. I am a trained web developer. I have built websites from scratch. I have used a lot of website builders. I have used WordPress. But lately, with the advent of AI, I have just really seen the need for a solid all-in-one solution that covers so many business cases. And I have settled on this particular website builder that I'm about to show you. Um, this is a website builder for people who like to have flexibility, but who also like to be swift in their actions and who once the website is built want a pretty easy way to work with it that doesn't require technical expertise and that's exactly what this solution offers so let's just dive right into it and see what i have to offer you here Okay, so we are here. We have the website section of the uh, Shanks CRM and we're going to click new website and we can either build one from scratch or use templates. So I'm going to go and look at the templates. Now here in my search, I'm going to look for healthcare because the website that I am building is actually going to be uh, for a for the San Antonio Liaison League, so the physician liaisons. Um, so I see several designs here and I'm kind of looking over those and I'll see if I see something that I like. I'll also try medical and see if that gives me something else. I really like this design here, I can already tell. So what I'll do now, um, actually this one looks pretty nice too, because it has, um, this could be a physician liaison, and then here we have physicians. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. So I'll click continue. And then I will get this template. So now um, what that does is under uh, websites, as I reload, I will have um, this medical template here. And then I click this and it will show me, okay, we have a home and about us, a department, a contacts and a team. Now, um, let's start with the home and see what we want to do there. So I'm clicking this and um, it's obviously, I kind of like this picture already, but here, instead of using the template language, I will place welcome to the San Antonio Liaison League. And then um, I will use this as my tagline here, connecting professionals, sharing best practices, empowering healthcare. And here I want to make sure that we have the logo. So the logo, I'm going to click this and then here I can upload the brand logo so I can go here and see if so this is all the website sample so I can just upload a file and I'm going to use I think I have yep yeah, I'm going to use this one and then I'm going to double click it and I have that in here and um, let's see, can I make it a little smaller? I think that is nice enough. And then for the alt text, I will say um, San Antonio Liaison League logo. Okay, so now 
Um, this is a very, very simple website, actually. Um, I will see, we probably don't need that section here. So see how I can just delete it like so. And then a few words about us. I have copy prepared for that. I'm going to take um, that and put it in here. This part, which is kind of this subheadline, I'll remove that. And um, so I have that here. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm looking for something that says, so I'll replace all of these pictures actually with just our mission statement. Okay, so I'm going to remove this whole row and I'm going to replace this with our mission. And then I have the ability to add a paragraph here and I'm going to paste that in here and all I want to have that kind of left aligned so here I can format that to be left aligned great um, now I will the most important call to action is to join our association. So I'll see how I can change the learn more to just join us. And it looks like here on the text, I can just add join us. Okay. And I'll do the same here, join us. All right. So all of the rest I'll actually delete because I don't need it. And that is fine. Um, at some point we may want to take this back um, because it's nice to show people. But right now we don't need it. Don't need the testimonials. Um, and I don't think I'm going to keep this either. Just keep it simple today. No privacy policy. And then I'll keep 2023 all reserved. Okay, right. So by the way, join us. I want uh, that to, this is the uh, website that is going to be replaced. So when you see the membership sign up here leads to this form. So I'll just click this and the button then links to opening a website URL and I'm pasting that in here. I want that to be opened in a new tab. Fantastic. Same here with this button. Um, website URL open in a new tab. Okay, so it's pretty good. I'm gonna save it. And um, I'll actually, for now, I don't want the uh, about us. I wa don't want department contact us, any of that. So I can just go and select this part. The element name uh, is navigation menu. And for now, I will just remove that. So I'm going to delete the navigation item delete and delete and also this I think because it's a, a one pager I'm going to also remove the home so in a sense we just have the logo left and that looks good okay so what I want to do now is look at the website that we're about to replace. And it's, yeah, it's this one. See 
if I want to keep this. So we have this insert here that is um, that pulls in social media content, and then we have meeting recordings. So I kind of like that. Now, what I want to do for sure is I think I want to add a nice image of us here. So let me just find that. I'm going to click here and then I will see if I can upload a new image. So upload file. So I'll put that in here. And then in the alt text, I will I will say San Antonio Liaison League group photo during a happy hour. Okay, Liaison League. The reason this is important is that when someone Googled San Antonio Liaison League, the image can uh, pop up as well. Group photo during a happy hour. Perfect. And I can open the contacts page. Right. Okay. This I will rename media. And then I'll actually, what I will do is I'll just delete the content of this gray area here. Okay. Um, the gray area is a section and in the section we need a either a one column structure, two columns or three columns. So I'm going to go with a one column structure and then right in here I can add another element. So what I will actually do is I will use... Um, the let me see i will use the code here code i have custom html open code editor paste this in and then um i will actually I said I would remove all of this from the footer. Okay, so this we need to preview to actually see this rendered. So I would come here and there it is. Nicely included into the website. The point is that we have built pretty fast a website that is you know nicely designed and looks cool so we're gonna release that and uh, if you want something similar just let me know thank you